this episode of Buff's Garage, we're debunking popular automotive internet myths and doing burnout. <laughs> And welcome back to Buff's Garage. Today I've got a couple of projects I'm working on, but it's hot. And so I only have a limited amount of time to do stuff before it gets ridiculously hot and I just can't take it. But I can always just go jump in the lake, which I'm probably gonna do. In the meantime, you've seen me doing several little projects and of course, a car chase with a certain YouTuber that you guys all know and love. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tackle something I've wanted to do since I got the car. Besides fix the AC, which I did. So a lot of the stuff on the car, the parts, everything is original from the 90s when this car was new. Right down to the 90s style tent that's on the windows. But I wanna tackle these headlights. As you guys know, a lot of these cars with the plastic headlights, they tend to fog up or get chalky or gritty. Basically, they're not clear and beautiful anymore. And these things get spendy to replace. So we're going to debunk a few of the internet trends of restoring your headlights with stuff you find around the house. Because honestly, they don't really work. Let me show you. So I dug around on the side of the yard, found a milk crate. That'll give me a nice seat to work off of. All right, so we're going to debunk some of the internet trends that people try to do as a cheap way that's trendy to fix your car headlights. And then I'm going to explain to you why they don't work. So the first one I saw, toothpaste. I got the whitening kind because uh, it's what was in the cabinet and you know, whitening, that's, you know, that, that's going to clear it up, right? Whitening. We're going to put a little bit on the headlight here. We have our high dollar buffing cloth that we're going to use. Again, household items. We're going to put our toothpaste on there, swirl it around. Now depending on who you see on TikTok or whatever social media you prefer, they're going to tell you that you just wipe this right on, rub it in like you would normal toothpaste, right? And just like that, you've got a perfectly clear headlight. Wait, no, it didn't work. It did make the surface cleaner, but it's still hazy. I mean, you don't brush your teeth without using water. Let's try adding water. Add a little water to the surface. Oh yeah, that, that works really, really well. At getting the dirt out of all the cracks and crevices. Now, this light turned out pretty good. This one's taking the brunt of all the uh, sun damage. And if you leave it wet, at least for the camera, it looks fully restored. I did more with just the water than the toothpaste. Look at that, that looks so much better already. But the minute that dries, it's going to be hazy again. That was a fun time lapse. So the next internet trend for fixing your headlights, shaving cream. Now whether you use the squirt kind out of the can, the aerosol, big foamy stuff, menthol. Again, I'm going to just use what I had on the counter there. And this is just some regular old concentrated shaving cream. We're just going to work the same spot, rubbing it in really good. But again, we don't shave without water, so let's add a little water. And once again, it is a lot cleaner. Let's do the magic touch for the internet viewing folks and show how it just fixes everything. And just like that, it is all clear and beautiful, except again, with the beauty of time lapse. It isn't. So our next internet trend that I'm gonna prove why it doesn't work, bug spray. Now, some will tell you it has to be a certain kind or a certain brand. It's gotta be the cheap stuff. It's gotta be the expensive stuff. It's, it's gotta be the aerosol. It's gotta be the, the oily stuff, not the dry stuff. But I can tell you, they're all gonna do the same thing. And here's why. Well, there's our bug spray fix to this side of the headlight. As you can see, it looks a lot clearer. And unlike the first two products, this is staying clear longer. And do you know why? 
most bug sprays have oil in them. It has some alcohol and some other chemicals. They all have their own unique properties, but for the most part, they all have some type of oil in them. And that oil is what penetrates the plastic on the surface, kind of like polishing your tires or your dash. Makes it shiny. Well, if it's shiny, it reflects more light. Therefore, you don't see that dull gray, that, that haze over the headlight. But here's why it doesn't work. First of all, it's a temporary fix. Even on your body, bug spray doesn't just stay. It works its way off through wind, rain, sweat, whatever reasons, right? So same thing's gonna apply to the car. Flying down the road, catching bugs and rain and even the, the wind going off of this is gonna slowly evaporate that bug spray off of there. So while right now it still looks kind of clear, I want you to understand that on my fingertips I can feel it's still rough like sandpaper. So that's not smooth. The first time you have a big rain and take it to the car wash, your bug spray is gonna get washed off. Just like the others, it's gonna haze up. Now if you thought those first three were foolproof until I showed you why they don't work. Let's get to the number one household tip that they claim works to restore the clarity to your headlight. It works on everything. WD-40. So just like the bug spray, what do you think's in WD-40? Probably some oil, right? We're gonna take this side of the headlight that hasn't been affected yet. And we're gonna show you how well this works to restoring your headlight. Is that some crazy internet magic or what? That headlight looks perfectly new. It looks fully restored, well, on this side, to this point anyway. And the magic of cameras, it looks fine. Except again, I'm gonna rub my fingers across it and it still feels like the gravel pit in my local quarry. It feels like that soft grit sand in Miami Beach. <laughs> what are we kidding? I can't afford Miami Beach. It's coarse, let's just go with that. So while on camera, it looks really good. Once again, we're gonna wash it off. It's gonna take a little more effort. Let's see what a little time does to save our finish. All right, so I know I'm in a shady spot, but I can tell you even with the shade on the headlight, I hope you can see that this is once again hazy. It is a lot cleaner than it was when we started, but it's hazy, it's cracked, it's gritty, it's got craters in it. So no matter what household product we're using on this thing, we're just not restoring the headlight. It makes it look real pretty. If you use an oil-based product, it looks pretty good for a little while. If you're at a local barbecue, a family reunion, and, and you want to impress your friends, this is a pretty good parlor trick. But the reality is, this doesn't actually fix your headlight. It doesn't actually restore your headlight. It simply makes it kind of look clean, especially on the camera. So how do we do this for real? Well, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I feel like the best way is the way I'm gonna show you today. Let's actually learn how to do this right. Now there's a lot of different kits on the market. Some of them are legitimate products for properly restoring your headlights. Some places, body shops, car washes, detail, businesses this dude Bucky on the side of the road up here on the corner they'll offer you a headlight restoration service but you need to be careful make sure you're going to a place that's reputable that they have a good clientele they have a good rating and most of all you trust their work there's gonna be a whole bevy of options and I'm gonna just show you the one that I chose now usually I like to stick with certain brands I went to the clearance aisle and I found this this is a mother's new lens restoration kit. And I was pretty skeptical when I saw it because they just make car wax. So what are you thinking? We're just gonna car wax this back to clean? But here's what got me. Inside the box, you not only have a polishing compound, but it came with their patented power ball. Now this little dude works really well to get into cracks and crevices. Uh, it, it's great for wheels, especially snowflake style wheels and stuff. These are awesome. These are, these are handy little cleaning tools. But it also came with a part to hook into a drill. And I just so happened to grab the cheapest drill I could find. So today I'm gonna to take the cheapest product with the cheapest tools and see if we can't fix this headlight. 
So now we've already cleaned the headlight, right? I mean, all of those products, all of that water, it's pretty clean. I'm gonna load up my drill with this patented drill chuck slash Velcro. It comes with a polishing pad, and we already saw the power ball, but we're gonna just hold off on those for a minute because it also came with sandpaper. Depending on who you talk to, and they're a professional paint man or not, they're gonna tell you what grit you should use. 60 grit is probably not what we wanna use on our headlight. What's included in the kit is an 800 grit and a 1500 grit. Now these are meant to be used with water. So I took a water bottle and I drilled a hole in the top, filled it full of water, and we've got ourselves our squirt bottle that you've seen me use. So we're gonna use our squirt bottle with our sandpaper and we're gonna fix these headlights. The idea to restore the headlights is to actually eliminate the rough surface, the haze, all of that. Is, it's on the surface of the light. It's not just something you wipe off or just apply a product and make it go away. You, you physically have to remove that. Okay, now once you get the majority of the heavy damage out, you're going to get rid of that 800 grit and go to a finer 1500 grit. Don't be stingy with the water. Okay, so I went through the two grits that I have. And I can tell you, it already looks a lot better. Now wait, hold on, before the internet blows up, I don't want to hear, oh my gosh, it's still hazy, you didn't fix anything. All right, we just ran sandpaper across it. It's not gonna make it pretty. It's just gonna make it smooth. And there is a lot of damage in this headlight, even after that. So smart me would spend another two hours sanding this with fine grit sandpaper and water until it is perfectly smooth, but I'm an idiot. So for the purposes of this video, we're gonna skip ahead to the polish part. All right, so I found the number one downfall with this particular product is once it's polished, there's no sealing agent. And what I mean by that is there's no ceramic coating, no clear coat, nothing that's gonna permanently restore this headlight. There are products on the market that do come with a ceramic coat or a wipe-on clear coat, but because this one doesn't, it actually recommends on the package that you reapply it every month. So let's get to polishing. It says to finish off the headlight with a clean microfiber cloth. I have one that I used to check the oil this morning. It's clean enough. At least it's microfiber. And just to show you, it's not going to just wash off. The water beads right off of it. And while it's not a perfectly clear headlight, I would say it's a lot better than it was. For a 25 year old headlight, it looks pretty good. Now, of course, I can come back, and probably will, and spend a few hours on a less hot day truly digging into this with multiple different types of sandpaper at varying grit levels to get all of the surface uniform and clear. I've still got a few little pock marks and a few little micro cracks all through here, and the only way to get rid of those is to sand them out. These headlights are worth it. I'm just showing you that you can do it at home and you can fake it with household products or you can do it for real with this product. I'm not sponsored in any way on this video. This particular product was chosen because it was in the clearance aisle and it was the cheapest thing I found. There's a reason why. You gotta reapply this every month. So that's probably the biggest downfall. Otherwise, it absolutely did better than our household products. You guys check out the difference and tell me what you think. And then drop in the comments below and tell me what you wanna see happen next. But the whole idea behind this car was it, it was a free car given to the channel so that I could kind of restore it back to its former glory. Cause it's a cool car and it's a fast car. I've still got some partnerships coming for several of the vehicles in the fleet and all of those videos are coming. In the meantime, how about we end the video this way?
right guys, it's 113 degrees heat index here. I've been working all day in the heat. It's hot and I have a big lake. So thanks for watching Buff's Garage.